The president and his family started coming to Hyannisport the very first kickoff weekend, July 4th weekend, and right through the summer through Labor Day. Every weekend was just bursting with uh, recreation and, and fun. One of the favorites was, of course, boating. You know, the president loved sailing his Victoria, which was his Wiano Senior sailboat that, in fact, was given to him on his 15th birthday. Um, but also, they went out on the Honey Fitz and the Marlin every weekend. They loved being out on the ocean. One of his, the most, the greatest joys in his life from day one has been the sea and how conquering the sea has taught him as much as he knows about conquering life. And that, and that he's drawn his inspiration for dealing with the daily things, and boy, no president never dealt with more daily things than he did. I had the, the, the opportunity to witness a lot of uh, what occurred uh, in Hyannisport uh, during that summer with uh, the president coming in on his helicopter and the excitement that was generated in the port when he would arrive and then, you know, his loading the kids up on the little, what we called the Tunaville trolley and followed by secret servant agents, he would run over the little new shop uh, candy store and, and buy a whole bunch of candy for the kids. And it was kind of a very festive occasion uh, when he, he, he arrived. And that included the Republicans of which there are a lot uh, in Hyannisport. People were used to having the Kennedys around. They had been around since the 1920s, so it wasn't anything remarkable that there were Kennedys around. But it was, from my perspective, the aura of the presidency that was just so different and, and kind of contagious. It certainly put Hyannis on the map, and, uh, and it, it had added a lot of force to further develop Hyannis and the Cape as a, as a place to, to vacation, a place to live. Our business grew t tremendously. In, in that era. They were part of it. They, right. they were part of it. Very wonderful to see someone who was in the newspaper every day uh, being at ease and being just someone from the neighborhood. We appreciated that he was not putting on airs, that he wasn't more important. President Kennedy's short uh, period of leadership in the, in the country uh, was full of some very challenging times. So there was a very, very powerful connection to the awareness and the awakening. I would, I would liken it to an awakening. You have young kids just coming into their teenage years, working their way into mid-teens or late teens, who because of their neighbor and because of the circumstances of the world, were beginning to read with greater depth and understanding and concern about politics. In spite of how all those images look, you know, just so much fun, uh, there was also some sadness that summer. Mrs. Kennedy was uh, well into the pregnancy and early August, August 7th in fact, uh, she uh, went into labor and was rushed to the hospital at Otis. Uh, and then subsequently to Boston, where after three days, Patrick was born, and after three days, he passed away. He was, uh, he was born too prematurely. Uh, so they retreated, of course. They retreated to Brambletide, the summer White House, but they were still visible. Um, I think Mrs. Kennedy was less visible than normal, but the president was there and doing things with the children, his brothers and sisters, and having summer fun. Uh, but all the while you knew that they you know were carrying a very deep sadness so the summer ended on labor day weekend with the birthday party of ambassador joseph p kennedy and there are just some wonderful images surrounded by his grandchildren his children and they had a big party and it was a very happy time so that was the last visit of the president and the family to hyannisport his very last visit was the end of October. He had some events in Boston that he attended, and he went down to see his father. He was with his close advisor, Dave Powers, who was truly in his inner circle. And he said goodbye to his father the next morning. He gave him a kiss on the head, as he always did. And as they left in the helicopter, Dave Powers uh, recounted this in his book, and he said that the president said, look down at him, Dave. 
I feel like this is the last time I'm ever going to see him. And that, of course, was so poignant because it was the last time he would see his father. I think that the family uh, was probably closest during those, those times uh, because they, you know, there was kind of a, a narrow circle around the family and they could, they could have their own little enclave in Hyannisport and uh, kind of keep away from the press except when they were out in the water or going to church. So, and then the, the, the world kind of came to him, whether it was his cabinet. I just learned this summer that there was a cabinet meeting that was held in the ambassador's house in Hyannisport at one point. I remember that they were out on the, the Marlin, the president's family's yacht, um, when uh, the Berlin Wall went up. And uh, that was a major crisis, and the, the world's media came to Hyannis again to, to get the response of the president for those types of events. But for the most part, I think he, he enjoyed uh, the quiet times with his family while he was here. Mm -hmm.